Hey Move Bubblers, it's Kendall and welcome back to our channel. On today's video, we're going to be talking all about whether or not you have to pay council tax. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Bills are inescapable, so with any home comes a lot of bills to pay, including your sort of everyday utilities such as gas, electricity, water, etc. But council tax is also something that every single person in the UK has to pay. Council tax is set by the local council and every household in the UK is required to pay it. So who pays council tax and just how does it work? We're going to break it down for you. So what is council tax and how is it calculated? In short, council tax is a local tax determined by the relevant authority. For example, if you live in Canary Wharf, the London Borough of Tower Hamlets is the local council that determines the council tax for the EW14 postcode. Council tax is graded by domestic properties and their value in 1991, two years before it replaced the poll tax system. It's a little bit odd that bans are calculated from prices up to nearly 20 years ago, but it is what it is and this is how council tax is worked out. Based on that value, the property is placed in a council tax band between A and H. A represents the lowest council tax price and H represents the highest. It's pretty easy to check a home's council tax band, but your landlord or letting agent should also provide this information to you before moving into the property. Council tax is one of the most paid bills around with a 97% collection rate. So who pays council tax? Well, it will either be you, the renter, or the landlord. But at the end of the day, most often they're not, it is the renter's responsibility. Council tax can be paid in one lump sum the entire April to April council tax year, or it can be paid in monthly installments, which seems to be the most popular option. Sometimes landlords will provide all-inclusive rental properties, which means that utilities, bills and council tax will be included in the rent. However, this is pretty rare and most often they're not. It's up to the tenant to pay all utility bills as well as council tax. I would suggest that before you move into a property, you double check the listing as well as chat to the landlord and the rental agent to find out what bills are or aren't included in the property rental price. By doing this, you'll be able to budget effectively and you'll also be able to find out exactly how much council tax you will need to pay for the area that you're moving into. So what if you're living in a house share? Well, if you're living on your own, it's most likely going to be your responsibility to pay the council tax. However, if you are living in a house share with multiple occupants, it's up to everyone to share the costs equally. Unlike utility bills where the bill is addressed to one single person, the council tax bill can be billed to every person living under the same roof. Therefore, the entire amount is split between every occupant in the house and is paid evenly amongst everyone. So are there any council tax discounts? Well, not everyone has to pay council tax and some exemptions can be made, which sometimes mean that you don't end up paying council tax at all. If you are living alone, then you automatically get a 25% discount on your annual bill. Some council tax exemptions and discounts can be made for anyone under the age of 17, full-time students who qualify for a UK course of education, young people on government training schemes and apprentices, and care workers. You can check if you are eligible for a council tax discount or exemption by checking and applying on the government's official website. I definitely think it's worth checking it out because a discount or exemption on council tax can definitely be handy and help you save quite a bit of money. So definitely go ahead and check it out. At the end of the day, unless you are eligible for a discount or exempt from paying your council tax, it is something you have to pay. Whether you are a homeowner or you're just renting, it's part of the process. So sometimes you can get lucky with the landlord paying your utilities and your council tax, but most often they're not, it's up to you to pay it. As mentioned before, it's super important to find out exactly what bills are included in your rent. So do yourselves a favor and check with the landlord and the letting agent before you move into a property in order to fully understand what you are responsible for as a tenant. If you guys have any more questions with regards to council tax or anything to do with properties, or perhaps you are looking for a new home, then don't forget to check out the Move Bubble app. There are some amazing video property walkthroughs and there's plenty of information on there as well to help you through the entire process. 
that's it from me please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below i hope that you all have a beautiful day and i'll see you guys soon bye